So we're here to, uh, to conduct high-level maritime operations uh, across the spectrum. We're here to showcase the Gerald R. Ford, conduct flight operations, and then integrate uh, allies and partners, allies from Germany, France, Denmark, Spain, Canada and the Netherlands and work together so that we continue to refine procedures, refine our communications and, and, and just demonstrate that security and that peaceful operations within the Atlantic Ocean. So the Ford benefits from uh, operating with our allies in, in many ways. First of all, our ship is a command and control node. We're a flagship, so I host multiple staffs on the ship already, and then hosting liaison officers is something that navies need to do, that the United States Navy needs to do when we deploy into a, a theater of war or peace. We need to be able to coordinate, collaborate, integrate with our allies. So that's one thing, just talking among each other, collaborating, having a battle rhythm, having the meetings that we have each day, uh, on a network that we all can use, that's really important. And then in terms of our exercise out here, uh, our exercise Silent, Silent Wolverine, we're able to have a much more robust uh, presentation with more ships involved. Yeah, USS Gerald R. Ford is uh, our nation's newest carrier nuclear-powered warship. Uh, first one to be developed from scratch in over 40 years after the Nimitz class, so we're excited about the new technologies that Ford brings to the table. The most prominent ones are the electromagnetic aircraft launch system and the advanced arresting gear. We, we can shoot aircraft at a wider range in terms of uh, weights of aircraft. So as aircraft uh, evolve in the coming years and we anticipate using more unmanned vehicles, those might be lighter than the, the large fighters and strike fighters that we're, we're shooting right now. Uh, and we anticipate less stress on those aircraft, so uh, less lifetime cost on the aircraft too. So a whole host of uh, benefits.